and we started making this record, which, believe it or not, took 17 days from start to mix done. After the 18th day, there was a bunch of people sitting in a recording studio like this listening to it. The 19th day, now I was out getting drunk. The 20th day, now I was out getting drunk. The 21st day, <laughs> I, we, we never touched this record again. It was done in 17 days, mixed, delivered. Stevie Ray Vaughan, Bowie, all those solos, everything done. Um, and, uh, and I think that this record, almost more than anything, captures that thing, that, in, that enigmatic thing called rock and roll, which is R&B at its roots, right? It's, it's R&B, it's black music, it's R&B. I mean, that's what rock and roll was. They, it, it, it changed and all of a sudden became like different, but that's, that's that little Richard picture. <laughs> that's what that record is. It starts with the Isley Brothers twist and shout with that, ah, thing singing the dominant seven chord. I mean, that's that. Even the Beatles copied. I mean, that, you know, that was, that was it. So it, it told, it gave us everything. The, the horn lick is a ripoff, a direct ripoff from another record. Um, I, yeah, I, I get passionate about this stuff because I feel this world um, going away, and maybe it should go away. I mean, that's, that's, you know, it's what they call progress. But this is what I grew up with, and when I got with Bowie, he allowed me to be that dude. 